Hey, everybody. Well, it's angel study group time. So I would have you, um, once you pick out um, uh, one of the blends that you have that's for an angel or an archangel and pull out your favorite blend. Um, and if you don't, um, uh, Kapoor Kachuria is good, Sage would be good. Um, or something that's a bit of a higher vibration, you know, something that's like a flower or like aloes, poplar, or something like that. And something that you have is a bit fancy. Yep, so any angel. Yeah, any, any angel. Everything's on the table. Angelica? Um, yeah, you could use that. Yeah, look me some Angelica. And I posted, you know, if you don't have that, the Kapoor Kachuri is sage, aloe, something fancy. Yeah, Angelica works. Yeah. All right, I think we're... Okay, so close your eyes and you know, reflect on the angel that you've chosen. If you're using a single oil, still choose an angel that you'd like to work with and just reflect on that angel. Keep your awareness on your heart. As your awareness is on the heart, reflect on the angel with your awareness on your heart. Now, begin inhaling. Your awareness is on the soles of your feet. Mm, yeah. Move your awareness to the palms of your hands. And then move your awareness to the forehead which is where the hairline is. Just be still, be aware, just completely let go. Keep your eyes closed, just let go. Begin inhaling again. Your awareness is between the eyebrows, the ajna. You're taking long, slow, deep breaths with your awareness on the ajna.
your throat. down to your throat minor, the bottom of your throat, the base of your throat, the little notch between the two collarbones. And then your cheeks under the cheekbone, like just directly on the cheekbone or just under it. The jaws where they hinge in front of the ears. The ear minors, which is the holes in your ears, the ear canals. The back heart, the area between your shoulder blades. The uh, front solar plexus, the area below your ribs. and your back solar plexus, which is your mid back.
Just be still, be aware. Maintain your stillness. Begin inhaling. Your awareness is on the spleen, on the left-hand side below the ribs. Your awareness is on the spleen. You're taking long, slow, deep breaths. Move your awareness down to the kidneys. Your liver on the right hand side below the ribs. Move your awareness a little bit more to the midline, slightly off to the right, and still you're below your ribs, just quite off center below your ribs. Your awareness is on your lungs. Move your awareness to the brain. Awareness is still on your brain. You're taking long, slow, deep breaths.
Move your awareness to the heart, the center of your chest. your back heart, the area between your shoulder blades. the bottom of your tailbone, the basic chakra. Just be still and be aware. Find the area in your body that feels the most uncomfortable, that is, has some pain or that is compromised in some way. Put your attention on that area and just take long, slow, deep breaths.
And then just be still, be aware, keep your eyes closed. Again, the area of your body where there's uh, discomfort or is compromised, long, slow, deep breaths with your awareness on that area. And then be still and be aware. Just let go. Let go of everything. Keep your eyes closed. Let go. Begin inhaling, your awareness is on the crown, the top of your head. your forehead and the back of your head at the same time. Your forehead is where the hairline is and the back of the head is opposite your eyebrows. Move your awareness between the eyebrows and your throat at the same time, your ajna and throat, both at the same time. your heart, the center of your chest. Your solar plexus, the area below your ribs, on your upper abdomen.
your navel. your spleen, which is on the left-hand side below the ribs. your Ming Min, which is your low back opposite your navel. The sex chuck, where the sex organs are. the bottom of your tailbone. Just let go, let go of everything, just be still and let go. Put your awareness on the bottom of the tailbone. Long, slow, deep breaths. Your awareness is on the spleen, left-hand side below the ribs.
uh, Ming Min, which is your low back area opposite the navel. and the crown, the top of your head. Be still. Be aware, just let go. Put your awareness back on the part of your body that's uncomfortable or is somewhat compromised and take some long, slow, deep breaths. Just be still, be aware, just let go. Okay, how do you feel? Check in with yourself, your body, your emotions, your mind. And we have a few minutes. If you want to share, you can unmute yourself or type in. Um, also, if you have questions. Go ahead, Peggy Bonta. Hey, Peggy. Um, hi. Um, I'm very relaxed. 
and uh, my neck was a little stiff, no big deal, but it, it moves now really nicely and a lot, lot more limber, so thanks. Oh, good, good, good. And you feel peaceful and kind of quiet and relaxed? Oh, very, yeah. Yeah, good. Could you explain a little bit about this process and what we're doing? Yeah, so, um, you know, we're, we're taking the things that we've done from the different angel classes and, you know, you've kind of done preparatory work with that. And then we can take it and then actually start using it for um, like therapeutic processes. And one of the things that working with angels and archangels, you know, working with that realm does for, for us as humans is it really helps to refine the, the unconscious. And a lot of the things that, that cause our suffering, a lot of the things that uh, uh, drive us as, as motivations are more unconscious than they are conscious. And so, you know, it's tied to psychologically, just all things that happen maybe that are, are very deep within the psyche, or a lot of it can be uh, drives that come from your physiology, including the, the uh, physiological emotions and, and things for survival. And so as you go through and you work with angels, um, you are starting to be able to go through and refine that. And the thing that's really great about using essential oils is one of the gateways to really get in to impact the, the brain and the physiology is through scent. You know, with scent, you can really access the brain very, very quickly as far as getting information in or trying to refine something or even to let something go. And so we're utilizing plants to go through and, and work with angels to take it even a step further. And by, by doing this, you know, you're already starting to impact your unconscious and your physiology. But if you step back and you even look at like, how do we impact the unconscious to an even greater level is the, the, uh, other entry point, or I should say like a deeper entry point, is um, not just sent through the nose, it's actually the whole respiratory tract. And this is why we've always kind of put an emphasis on um, deepening the breath, slowing down the breath, relaxing the diaphragm, which also relaxes the sternocleidomastoid, which is a muscle in your neck. By going through and doing this, it gives you greater access to the unconscious. And one of the ways that you go through and refine the unconscious is also to work the organs of blood purification. So once we, we opened up, we did the sinus pattern. Um, and then once we did the sinus pattern, we went through and we worked the organs of blood purification in a particular cycle. Um, you know, different, different patterns with the blood purification do slightly different things. And so once we did that, then we did um, the pattern for the, how you would do the Lord's Prayer if you are following it phrase by phrase as it goes through the body. And the reason why we use the, the Lord's Prayer is it has a very systematic way for um, purification. And so we've accessed the unconscious, we refined the unconscious, we brought it a little bit more to the surface, and then we went through and we flushed it out. And so we kind of used the, the use of oils, the entry point for the unconscious, using the, um, the patterns for the respiratory tract and the organs for blood purification. Um, we use the work with angels. All of these things are being directed to the unconscious. And then we went through with the Lord's Prayer pattern and just flushed it out. So it's a way to refine um, your, your unconscious over a period of time. So this is also tied to what we try to do with uh, 
the work with the vital centers, um, when we start working with the four aspects of the blood, which we've already done in one of the chakra classes, but we're going to be doing it to a much higher degree in the class at the end of the month, the Sharana Gati, the science of conductivity. Um, we'll be doing it to an even higher degree and um, also working with um, the zodiac angels and the uh, chemical processes from the zodiac, which um, that we haven't haven't released yet, but um, it, it's coming coming down the, the pike at some point. So um, you know, we we released um, a thing. I think it was yesterday in the in the notes about the the four seasons, the angels for the four seasons, which is actually eight oils. You know, it's like the spring, spring equinox, you know, summer, summer solstice, and so on. And so again, that, that is also about refining the, the, the unconscious. And so as you start to refine the unconscious, I mean, you'll find that you feel better, you feel happier, it becomes easier to get over health issues, but uh, it definitely impacts you psychologically. And it makes you more conductive to uh, spiritual energies by going through and unwinding the unconscious the way that we're starting to do also increases the circulation of energy through your body. So it makes everything have more life force in it and it um, allows kundalini to move um, easier with less resistance. So it's a way of refining the energy body over a period of time. So. I used Yale. What, yeah, yeah. what is in that blend? Oh, I'd have to look it up. And what does it do? What does Yale do? Um, yeah, it, that one's more for protection. So, um, uh, let's see here. Uh, Yael is wormwood, frankincense, myrrh, marjoram, clary sage, palo santo, opapanas, and mugwort. I was going to try to type that in. I'll just say that was recorded. So if you want to go back and listen, it was just too fast for me to yeah, type in. Yeah, wormwood, frankincense, myrrh. Marjoram, Clary Sage, Palasanto, Opapanox, and Mugwort. And thank you for the season angel notes. And thank you for that explanation. I think this is my new favorite protocol. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's fancy, and we're going to be going down this rabbit hole actually quite a bit in these study groups where we start to really refine the unconscious. You know, all the other classes were really prep work, so that it makes it um, easier to access and and keeps it as stable as possible. So. You know, there was a reason why we did angel classes before we started jumping into some of these things. And some of these things can be a little bit more spontaneous, not so regimented like some of the other work is. And so, you know, it allows for a little bit more flexibility and spontaneity. But um, there are certain mechanics that we are trying to follow. Um, but, uh, yeah. And I know you can't put angels in a box, but did you say that Yale was for protection? Yes, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's to help with protective issues. Yeah. So, okay, you guys, well, love you guys. Thanks for, for doing this tonight. I love doing this work with you guys. I, I, I hope you find it as fun as I do. So um, I hope you're enjoyed. And some of you will see tomorrow night with the 99 aspects. And I'll say, I hope to see you either on the weekend or this time next week. So love you guys and I'll talk to you soon.
Thank you. Love you. Take care.